Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn a scenario and uh, by performing that demo we will learn different components of SSIS package. The scenario is uh, the company we work uh, has multiple processes uh, those runs uh, every night. After completing all those uh, processes uh, a flag is set to yes, no or pending in SQL Server table. We need to create uh, an SSIS package that read that flag value and then run required tasks according to the flag value that is stored in the SQL Server table. So we will be creating a, a SSIS package in which we will have multiple tasks and they will be running depending on that value that we will get from that status flag table. Now what we will learn in SSIS package that we are going to create, the first thing we learn uh, how to use uh, the SQL query or T-SQL query to create the table and second part we are going to learn uh, how to get the value from that table and uh, you, we will use execute SQL task and save into a variable and then uh, we are going to use uh, that variable in presidents constraint uh, to handle uh, the control of uh, uh, execution of uh, different tasks uh, depending upon the value we get in that uh, variable. So let's uh, uh, go to the demo and uh, uh, take a look uh, uh, what we need to do here. Now you see here I'm creating a table so we say create table and then call you know, the name of the table we are creating in the uh, DBO schema and the table name is the status flag and I have column called FLG and it is watch uh, 10 uh, depending upon the values uh, you can uh, increase or decrease so we have same and yes no and pending uh, so that should be taken care and now right now let, I'm inserting a value called yes so let's create this one and this will be created in the test database it will select uh, the value from here we will use select query and here you can use the column name we have only one so doesn't really matter let's go to the bids or SSDT and take a look now I have SSDT SQL Server Data Tools I'm using SSIS 2014 and here we will be using execute SQL task to get that value from the table now we will use the connection type we have multiple connection types and in our case we will be using only db connection type and we will create a new connection to our sql server database so i already have a connection manager here i'm going to delete that one create a new and show you what information is required so first of all you need a server name or sql server instance name and once you have it then you have to provide the database name you can uh, choose from the drop down or write by yourself hit test okay hit okay now here you will be providing that uh, query that is uh, selecting uh, the flag value from the status flag table now once we are selecting this uh, value we want to save this value in some uh, variable so here we have a result set if I click on the result set drop down uh, I will see single value full result set and XML so single uh, row, uh, row I said single value so it is single row actually so single row means uh, it will uh, if our query is returning a single row so that can be saved into single row result set but in our case we are returning only one value but it has only one row yes so if there are multiple columns you can have them and uh, but uh, the the condition is that it should always return a single row if it will return more than one row your execute sql task is going to fail so that's how it will work next part is we are going to the parameters sorry we are going to the result set and uh, we will create a, a variable that can save that uh, value here now I can provide zero here because this is the first index or the first column and that's why index indexing start here so result name start with zero and then you have to provide the variable and we can create a new variable here and we can call it FLG and it is string that's fine 
now if uh, my query will be returning more than one column so let's say if i will have uh, another id or something uh, then uh, i will be using uh, another variable here i will be saying one and then i have to provide the variable here so that's how i will it will be working but i have only one uh, va variable and i'm returning only one column and uh, also we are returning only single row so that's just uh, that we need to do we just need to map one variable here hit okay now we got the value in the variable so we can call it execute sql set uh, flg variable value next part we want to have uh, different uh, tasks so i'm going to use data flow here i'm going to use uh, uh, for each loop container here and i'm going to use uh, and other task let's say we what uh, other task uh, we have it so let me see where we don't need connection managers and all that so here if you see i'm using different uh, tasks i'm using uh, inside uh, for each loop we can have another data flow so depending upon the value of this flag what we want to do we want to run uh, different uh, tasks uh, here so if uh, my value is uh, yes i want to run this uh, data flow i will say dft underscore yes and here i'm going to say for each loop uh, for each loop uh, no if the value is no i will run this one and here i'm going to say script task sc or script uh, task or i can leave the entire thing um, i can pending we know that we have the value here now we have to write uh, the uh, president's constraint so i will double click here and the uh, first thing we want to make sure this one get completed successful so we are using expression and constraint so we want the very first uh, uh, task to be completed successful so we have success and second uh, what we want to do we want to say flag is equal to yes and if that is equal to yes uh, this variable value is equal to yes uh, then uh, run the dft yes uh, next uh, we can copy the same thing actually and just change the values i want to show you one more thing here now this is also true we want to be on success and uh, variable value so we are using expressions and constraint so we say no and the last one uh, We'll say pending. Here pending. Now let's uh, run our SSIS package and see if it is working as we have defined it. So here we have a yes value in this one, in the flag, and uh, let's uh, run it. It should just run this part. And we can see that this uh, ran this data flow even we do not have any uh, loading process inside the data flow as of now but uh, it uh, directed the controller to the data flow task so that's great now one more test i want to show here and uh, here i'm using uh, all the upper cases if i will use a uh, small cases here and see if uh, that matters or not so just want to see that if uh, the values are case sensitive or not so here we are checking uh, in the at the rate flg we will have the value in uh, upper cases and we are comparing uh, with the y's capital and the e and s are lower cases so i want to just check and show you if uh, there is a difference uh, uh, with that so yes it is so just make sure when you are writing your president's constraint the values are compared and their case sensitive so you see that even we have yes on the both sides but what is happening they are different cases so this one is a small lower cases and this was totally uppercase that's why this did not go to the dft underscore yes so one way to handle this one uh, you can always use uh, upper this is a function we can use uh, on both sides uh. 
So let's say here, even you don't want to write it by yourself, let's say upper cases or small cases, and uh, just say upper. Let's see if this expression works. Uh, this expression works great, so we can uh, we can copy this one. Now we are doing uh, or converting the values to the upper cases always, uh, and uh, that's how we will be comparing them. Let's run this one. And now you see that that were great. So this is how we will be changing for the other one. So if you are not sure what values come in from the input and saved, you can always convert to upper or lower on both sides. So here even I will put no. This is going to work just fine. And this here, sorry. Here uh, I will be putting that as well and uh, we will be using a pending here. Alright, so we are all good. Here we don't see that uh, uh, what are uh, those values here. Let me see if there is properties uh, and we can set that uh, so it will show us uh, the expressions. So right now we have so show annotation as needed. Let's uh, change to the uh, constraint name uh, and it will give us the name and then uh, if uh, we'll change to the constraint description but it gave us uh, we don't see anything really changing here let's go back one more time and then uh, we'll say constraint options now when you select the constraint options you see that expression written here so you can uh, change it uh, and uh, you can uh, take care from there like it, it helps uh, in a way to read whatever the expressions are so for others let's say if you want to go back and go to properties uh, and uh, change to the constraint description uh, you can use sorry um, let me constraint we don't have description constraint options so once you have the constraint options uh, it will show you that uh, expression what you have written on the presence uh, constraints so that's how you can do it now let's go back and update the value to the no update set flg is equal to no now we have a no in that what's going to happen now if I run this one this should be coming to the for each loop container so you can see that this is working great and the last thing uh, we are going to update this one to depending and test our scenario now we have pending great come here run the package and we can see that this uh, uh, part of the package is executing and it ignore the other one because we have used the president's constraint uh, and uh, we are controlling the flow of our SSIS package uh, and especially the different parts of a SSIS package so that's how you will be reading uh, the single value flag values uh, from the SQL Server tables or maybe other uh, sources uh, and then using them uh, in the presence constraint uh, to control the flow of your SSIS package. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video.